Hi, it's Martin Pahiniak. Welcome back to PSD Touch Plus and the Shortcut series. Last time we started talking about the retouch tools and today I would like to continue that. In this part I'm going to compare the most important tools, the healing brush tool, the spot healing brush tool and the clone stamp tool. Now most of the times the best result is when you start to combine these three tools. So it's not a good idea to stick to one of these tools, which you prefer. It's good to combine them. Today, we are going to learn about the difference between them. And the next time, we are going to continue working on this image. And we are going to start using them all together. First of all, we need to understand the main difference between the healing brush and the spot healing brush tool. And then the difference between the healing brushes and the clone stamp tool. So let me just zoom a bit closer to this image. And let me select, first of all, the Spot Healing Brush tool. What we learned last time is that it's always good to create a new layer and work on that layer. So I'm going to call this Retouch, just like last time, to work completely non-destructively with the Retouch tools. And all you need to make sure is to set the sampling for sample or layers for all of these tools. Now the Spot Healing Brush tool is according to its name is great for small little details to get rid of blemishes and spots and dust on the sensor if you had on the camera and the reason why it is useful is because you don't have to sample at all it will do this completely automatically so if i have uh, this image and i'm going to just draw over let's say the birds here you can see i didn't have to do anything so i don't have to alt click and and select the sampling point, I can just simply get rid of the birds by simply drawing over them. Okay, and Photoshop will do the magic, it will sample from the image and I can't even see that there were birds in this image. So that's the spot healing brush tool, but it can't be really used for bigger details. So let's just say I would like to get rid of, um, I don't know, like this lamppost here. So I'm going to start drawing over it and as you can see it starts to merge details together and it won't be useful for parts like this so it just blurs details together it might work for something like this but even there it made a mistake because the sampling wasn't uh, manual it was automatic so Photoshop couldn't decide where to sample from in this case let me just see this part this worked so it's not really reliable in some cases it works like a charm but some cases you won't be able to use it so let me just go back a couple of steps here okay and by the way if i don't have enough undos in this case the advantage of working on a separate layer is that i can always select the eraser tool and just delete these parts because i'm working on a separate layer i can always do this okay so that's a really useful feature of working on a separate layer with the retouch tools. So we already see how the spot healing brush tool works. And for that tool, we also have different ways of sampling automatically. Okay. But I'm most of the time using the content aware option. Now, if I switch to the healing brush tool, okay, it's just below the uh, spot healing brush tool. With this one, we have the all layers sample option selected, just like for the other uh, tools. And I would like to show you that in with this tool, I can now sample. So I can alt click and sample from a point of the image and draw over something else in the image. So again, sample and draw over this part here. So this works already much better. The only problem is when I start to draw over details too close to a harsh edge, like a very dark edge and a bright edge, I will have problems like this here. So let's just see if I draw over this part here, instead of hiding it like this, what we can see now, when I let go, it will turn it black because the healing brush always tries to blend in its, uh, in its uh, surrounding area. So it samples plus blends in. To understand this more, I would like to compare the clone stamp tool and the healing brush tool. So let's just do a sampling from this mural, the painting on the wall, and draw it here on the air. So first of all, uh, let me do this with the clone stamp tool. I alt click on the uh, mural and I draw it here in the air. Okay, it's like Jesus in the clouds. 
something like that okay and as you can see just simply copy and paste it's nothing special copy and paste but then if I select the healing brush tool and do the same thing again alt click to sample and draw another Jesus here you can see once I let go uh, my healing brush tool it blends into the environment so it blends into the bright blue sky by the clone stamp tool just simply copy and paste whatever we sample so the healing brush is a bit more advanced we can say than the clone stamp tool but you will see that for the clone stamp tool we have much more options later on where we will discuss the clone source panel but that's the most important difference so left was the clone stamp tool right was the healing brush tool so this copy and paste and blend while the clone stamp tool just copy and paste so now we understand the difference between the two healing brushes and also the difference between the healing brushes and the clone stamp tool and now we are ready to make a more complicated retouch in the next uh, episode I am going to get rid of this lamppost here and I am going to combine the tools that we learned and we will also introduce a different technique combining selections with retouch tools so if you are interested to learn more about these tools join me next time thanks a lot for your attention today